the idea of the unity gain is that you want to be able to go from sublime, which is clean, to barracuda, which is super distorted, that has that flanger on it, and in theory your volume level doesn't change from patch to patch unless you need it to. And you can set all of that by making the patch level louder or quieter. You come over here and you turn on your tuner, you can set it to various things, to through, to being silent, so that when you step on this tuner here, you can tune quietly and the audience won't hear you. You've got it set to bypass. It's basically going to take all of the effects through your chain and turn them off. And the sound you're going to get in theory is the sound of the guitar signal going directly into the amplifier and not being colored by the GT100. The GT100 unfortunately does color the sound, so point being though, if you stepped on this and you went into bypass mode, you don't want the volume when you're tuning to be excessively louder or more quiet than when you've got a patch going. So that's the reason you want to set these to a unity game. And the best way to test that is step on the bypass here, tuner, check the volume with the tuner up with it set in bypass. Step on that again. And check and see how loud your patch is. If they're close in level, you've got unity gain. This is my global EQ. I set this this way because I found that the GT100 colors the sound ever so that if you don't do this, then when you plug into it, what ends up happening is you lose bass, you lose mid, and you probably gain a lot of trouble in the process. So, by having a global low gain boost of four decibels and mid gain of three and such, you're compensating for the sound that the GT100 is making through your amplifier. So, that's the way that I account for that.